guys, it is me, Fred the Sock Monkey, and today, we ain't doing that anymore. <laughs> yeah, as much as it hurts to say. So, probably more than 96% uh, of you guys are wondering what I'm doing or what I'm talking about. Um, this is basically Fred the Sock Monkey. Um, he's, he is a, uh, how do I put it this way? He's, he's like a, uh, late childhood memory, uh, for me at least, when I sounded like a little child. <laughs> but, Fred the Sock Monkey and his partner, Bob the Sock Monkey, um, was a uh, was this weird idea that we had that they would have their own YouTube channel and that they would basically uh, how would I put it this way it was like uh, maybe I should start with something so back in my very early channel I had the idea that my plushies was my plushies plushies back there was basically gonna run my channel through the entire thing but of course, you can't just keep ideas forever, and eventually it did get to a point where I started to take over, and then, um, I guess it started getting to a point where I started to more take over, and then, finally, I did take over, and now it's just, I mean, it's almost never my plushies ever again. Yeah, it, it feel it sucks when you leave your childhood. Uh, so, uh, Bob and Fred was basically like a, uh, that idea but um just in a separate channel and originally thought that it would be much more successful than what i was doing but i was proven wrong very wrong um <laughs> bob and fred don't even have like 30 subscribers they've been doing this for like two years where am i almost 3k but um bob and fred was more of like a alternate channel of mine and my sister's and just put in a way where it, we thought it would be funny and we thought it would be humorous which it kind of was and it was it at the same time kind of felt like a test of how good we are at editing for their videos on the channel but like we said or like I said they uh they don't even have 30 subscribers and they've been doing this for about like two years or so and I am compared to me I'm way over them so it's a dead channel Bob and Fred the Sock Monkey was back in like 2014 or so maybe 2015 I don't know but our first idea was like they were to they were to mostly just entertain kids I guess which, I guess as the years went by, I started thinking about it. I started realizing that maybe this may not work after all. And yeah, it kind of, the idea that Bob and Fred would not have gone anywhere was when we've been, after like a whole year of doing stuff with them and they never even gross over like a subscriber. They only gross like a subscriber every like two months or so. And then compared to my channel, I was like doubling the ray every time. And it, to me, it felt weird to continue doing a channel that felt like it would never grow for, for who knows why. We're not sure what we're, uh, well, at least during the time we were making videos for them, we weren't for sure why they never grew at least 10 views a video, at least. And, um, the more I kept going, I started feeling like I was just going to give up on it at the point. And now we're at the point where, you know what, I think I've given up on it. Just, this channel that we made just doesn't want to grow for some reason. I'm not sure why. But the more I did keep looking at the channel, 
started making me think about maybe there's a reason why it won't grow. Um, I guess the fact that they're sock monkeys and the majority of their videos was recorded with a phone. And then like two thirds of the way through their channel, now they're recorded with the capture card to, you know, have some high quality stuff. But that still never gross over a few views or so, or even a subscriber. So, I guess the starting point was kind of like, it was kind of doomed at that point. But, it wasn't the same as how my channel kind of happened. Um, my channel also started out with a phone. I'm pretty sure everyone every once in a while had a channel that ended up growing so amazingly and at least started out with something very low quality but I guess for some reason I persevered through my channel for who knows why and I don't know some things just happen and then I guess when I kept going with my channel I guess I had an addiction of just making videos in general so maybe that's why I went through my channel, but, uh, Bob and Fred's was different. It felt like I had a, it felt like we had to do something to make it feel good. And even then it still didn't work out. So I'm not really for sure what that is that prevents me from thinking of that, but it does sting when I start realizing it and it does really suck for me um and I'm not really for sure how should I start this out for those of you guys who still don't know who Bob and Fred is uh, not only will I have the link to the channel in the description below but I'll give a better description of what th they are and uh, how they started out I guess so my sister got a sock monkey a bald sock monkey, a pink one, she put on a voice for it and thought it was good. We were all kids at the time, so I thought, hey, how come I don't have one myself? So I finally got one. Uh, I think originally I was going to call him Charlie, I think? But I think it was because it was during the time I was watching some YouTubers like Super Mario Logan. But um, then I guess... Some other people looked at him and say, hey, why don't you just call him Fred just for his style? Uh, and the reason why we called him Fred is because the hair, this hair right here was like much more longer. So it made it look like a girl. So we trimmed it a bit to make it more look convincing to be a boy. And then I put on this voice. But I guess um, it was also during the time where I was thinking of starting a YouTube channel, I think. So finally, we start. I started one. We were still having fun with these sock monkeys. And, um, I guess we wanted to see what happened. Hey, what would happen if these two hilarious sock monkeys were to do gaming stuff? But we forgot what's the difference between high quality and low quality. So we used our phone. And I guess, obviously, that kind of got us nowhere at some point. And it, it's kind of a stinker winker that... It, once you carry something like this, you don't know where it's going. <laughs> I thought it would go up, but no, it went practically nowhere, no matter how hard we tried. And I'm not really for sure why either. Again, I probably already said that before, but like, um, it just went nowhere. But I guess, uh... They, uh, the first video that they started out with was, uh, Super Mario Maker for the Wii U, and then we kind of just had them do whatever I wanted them to do. It was mostly supposed to be my sister taking control, but it, uh, what was I going to say, um, it kind of ended up getting to the point where I wanted to do things that I wanted to do for the channel, and I guess it could be my fault that it got nowhere, maybe? I'm not really for sure myself, but, you know, things happen, and it's a, 
It's a stinger winker that their channel got nowhere. Us. But I guess there are reasons why I kind of felt as if it would have gotten nowhere. I, like I said, as the more I kept watching the videos that we've been posting, obviously there's there's probably two major things I noticed. One, as we grow older, it does get much more harder to start voicing sock monkeys that are supposed to sound like mere children, kind of. Um, two, the sock uh, Bob and Fred are supposed to be mostly dumb sock monkeys, and I guess as I started watching the videos more and more, I started noticing that when there is something dumb happening in the video or when there's someone being dumb, it's like stopping the process of where the video is going. And I, even though you can argue that depending on what's going on, that is funny, but in situations, in situations, I guess not all the time it's gonna work. So having dumb sock monkeys trying to grow a channel uh, kind of, was I don't know but it just went nowhere I guess but and then I don't know and if you guys also have any questions about well why not you just make them smarter just watch their videos and tell me what you think they're going to do if they were smart what do you think this voice is gonna be like when it's smart like it, th th you try to you have to put on a voice that has to match their personality. It's supposed to be a dumb but yet cheerful personality. And putting on a smart and cheerful personality that works with the video sounds weird to me. It sounds like it won't, it sounds like it will raise a lot of questions and probably may not even go anywhere. But you know what? Things can happen and, um,. Fred, I'm not sure what to say, but I honestly think this might be the end of you. I will miss the fun times I've been making content for these two sock monkeys, but it's just got to a point where I'm pretty sure it's not going anywhere, so yeah. Missing childhood it really sucks it really does i also apologize for this video's weird quality i'm testing out my web i'm testing out my uh my camera on my computer to see what's the difference between my webcam because i feel like there's a huge difference and i feel like that this is actually just a little bit better maybe it's not but i could be wrong i'm that's what i just think but um I don't know what to say other than um, thank you for watching and if for some reason you want to prove me wrong and go ahead and subscribe to these sock monkeys maybe I'll keep it going but I don't guarantee that we're gonna post a lot if it's gonna still continue being in this weird era where it just doesn't want to grow for who knows why no matter how hard we try to make it grow it just doesn't want to so um, thank you very much for watching I it's okay if you basically don't know what I'm talking about because uh, more than likely everyone that's watching this doesn't know what I'm talking about but this is basically old childhood getting ready to be thrown away I don't know how long but we'll see maybe we might keep going but I don't guarantee it at least for me I don't guarantee that I'll keep going with it but maybe there's a way I can Maybe there's a way my sister can somehow still keep it going no matter how hard this may seem and no matter how hopeless this seems But I guess this is a good way to give them some attention I'll see you guys later. It's okay if you don't understand this video Because more than likely none of you do for everyone that's watching this, but If you want to prove me wrong and you want these two sock monkeys to keep going let me know just by simply subscribing to them. That's all I can say.
Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone, and God bless you all.